Speaking of China, how do you think the trade war plays out? How, how do you see it? Uh, Does it get worse yeah, from here? I, I, I think it gets worse. I, I think that China doesn't want to be told what to do by President Trump, and President Trump loves to bully people. So that's a bad situation. You've, you've, you've kind of got, you know, an a irresistible force and an immovable object kind of working to, against each other. So I think they're probably, we're probably going to ratchet up the tariffs, I, I think. Um, I know that we put it on a 90-day, uh, you know, delay, but I think that's, that's a problem. And you can see the PMI for net export orders is tanking globally. I mean, it's, Germany has fallen off a cliff. That, that indicator was at an incredibly powerful reading entering this year. It was over 60. PMIs over 60 are really strong. And it's completely collapsed. I mean, it's, it's down way below 50 now. Even the U.S. has gone negative on that PMI. So that's, that clearly shows that the, the tariff situation and the, and the trade wars are having negative impacts on actual economic activity. And it's just going to get worse if we ratchet up uh, another, another level. You don't, think China, China. you don't think China will blink? I mean, they've already made some moves that suggest they may be inching closer to that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I, I hope so. But I don't believe that hope is a method in investing. I think you see identifiable risks and you need to take them seriously. And since the uh, slight back off, I think that's something positive. But given the personalities, I, I'm not optimistic that that's going to resolve itself without first causing more pain.